on today's video, I discuss how can I cut my cat's nails when he is becoming upset and aggressive. So let's jump into the first question, and that is, it's very hard to get a cat's claws cut as he's becoming upset and aggressive. For the last year, they've had to take the cat to their vet, but they insist on sedating the cat. And there's some concern with the sedation because he is a little bit overweight, um, and you know, is it risky and is it not really necessary? Um, so, you know, let's break that down. Now, the first thing that we can do is just to reduce the stress of the build up to the vet visit. And we can do that in a number of ways by getting them used to the carrier. So that can involve just having the carrier out in the house normally. Actually feeding your cat in the carrier can make a big difference as well. You could go on short trips to get them used to being in the car. So just popping them in the car with the engine on to start with, um, then taking progressively longer journeys at the same time, giving them treats and, you know, having nothing nasty waiting for them at the end of that. So you know, they're not going to a cattery, they're not going to the vet, because that's one of the big problems is that cats are so used to only going somewhere they really don't want to be when they go in a car and they just don't get used to it and they're not anticipating anything nice at the end of that. Um, also avoid long waits in the waiting room. So, you know, make sure that you are not really early and also get there on time so that you don't miss your appointment and have to wait for the next available slot. Um, equally, when you get there and you're in the waiting room, just keeping your cat off the ground and away from dogs can make a huge difference as well. And then finally, using the pheromone fell away or a supplementation like Zilkeen can really just help them relax that little bit better as well. And I discuss all of this in a post over on rpetshealth.com and in episode number 113 of the Our Pets Health podcast. So definitely check those out if you're interested in hearing more of reducing the stress of a vet visit. So next up is just reducing the stress of a, the nail clip itself. And, and it may be that actually, although the cat is more relaxed when they get to the vet, they're still really not happy to have their feet touched and their nails clipped. So to prepare them for this, we can potentially give them a medication to calm them down. And that could be something like gabapentin or trazodone um, as just two examples. They're things that are very safe to give um, and generally pretty effective at allowing minor procedures like this to happen. Now, if there's no pro progress with this or if your vet doesn't seem comfortable doing this, then consider trying to visit a fear-free certified veterinarian. So this is a relatively new thing. Um, there is a program called Fear Free free which walks through the development of veterinary services that aims to avoid fear we're not trying to force ourselves on our patient we're trying to keep them happy at all times so yeah have a look and see if there's a fear free certified veterinarian near you um, and you can also work on nail clipping at home so and you know and even try and actually manage the nail clip yourself at home so just trying a nail at a time now that sounds like not very much but you know if you're doing it slowly then nails don't grow that quickly and that will be plenty to get you through you can try nail clippers just normal normal cat nail clippers there's a number of different types so try a few find ones that you're most comfortable handling with or you can even just try a nail file or an emery board so just gently I'm um, filing away at that nail again you don't have to do much and if it's done regularly and you're only doing you know one nail or two nails you know it's not a big job and it's something that you'll be able to keep on top of those nails and stop them becoming long in the first place you can also use Fellaway or Zilkeen um, or bribe with treats, um, you know, like the temptation treats, which all cats seem to absolutely love. Um, and the key as well, if we're trying these things, is stop before any anxiety is shown. So if we're leaving it until anxiety is shown, they've already got to the stage where they're stressed and, you know, that's going to be counterproductive. They're not going to help. You're not going to help them get over that fear or that discomfort and dislike of having their nails clipped. So try and stop before any anxiety is shown. Now, if despite all of these things, there is still very little improvement and you still need to take your cat to the vet, you can't do it at home, um, they're not able to manage it despite treatment strategies and, and management strategies to reduce that stress, then, you know, the safety of sedatives is normally very good. So yes, there is a risk with every sedation, every anaesthetic and pretty much every procedure that we do. But by and large, if there's no other major problems, then the risk of sedation is actually very low. And sure, being a little bit overweight does increase that risk, but you know, not substantially. And sedation is definitely better than trying to overpower a cat and try and get them to do what you want. And veterinary staff, they just can't be expected to compromise their safety because ultimately being bitten by a cat is not just part of the job. Um, it can ultimately lead to career threatening or career ending injuries. Certainly if you get bitten in a joint, then that can be terrible. I've certainly had 
um, known of nurses who have had a, a bite and they've ended up in hospital on intravenous antibiotics because they've got a horrendous cellulitis in their, in their hand going up their arm. So we can't expect that. And actually sedation in the long run, if we know that we're going to have to sedate a patient, then we don't have to handle them an awful lot before that is administered. And actually for your cat, it will result in lower stress for their visit as well. So I hope that gives you a few ideas um, in managing an aggressive um, cat or a cat who's getting anxious and stressed by having their nails clipped to make it a little bit of a better experience for them. You've been watching the Dr. Alex Answers video podcast. Remember to subscribe and head over to DrAlexAnswers.com for any links, downloads, and get your question answered.